Probably no more uh, than anywhere is Leinster, the competitiveness, particularly looking at the back row. I was reading Tony Ward today where he was going through some of the options. Reese Ruddock, Josh van der Fleer, Dan Levy, Sean O'Brien, Jordy Murphy, Jamie Heaslip, Max Deegan, Jack Conan. That on the assumption that Scott Fardy plays in the second row. you got eight players there vying for three positions. Mm. Is that a difficult enough juggling job for Leo Cullen, Keith? Um, I think it's one of those beautiful, difficult things because part of all these players, part of it being homegrown players, are that they want to play for the province. They're not automatically looking to get out the gap. Um, there's been so many injuries in the Leinster back row. You know, we haven't ever seen um, Jamie Heaslip get injured. He got injured for the first time. And the second he got injured, suddenly two more names seemed to pop up in Leinster's back row. So uh, the strength of depth is great for them. It's difficult to manage, but a lot of them are young enough to manage well. And the guy that I feel almost sad for in many respects is Josh van der Fleer because he was brilliant last autumn. Then he gets injured. Then we don't see him so much. Other guys suddenly get their, put their hand up. So I'm looking forward to seeing him play and getting, you know, as as efficient as he was last year. He got over the gain line all the time. He was a nuisance all the time. And an awful lot of good play for Leinster went around him last year. So it'll be interesting to see how he gets back up to it. But look at Dan Levy and Deegan. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of, it's pretty great to see the, those sort of younger guys coming through. Can that be difficult for someone mentally, Keith? Someone like Josh van der Fleer, who was playing some of the best rugby of his life. You get injured and suddenly you are looking that there's seven out of our guys fighting out for positions in that back row that you're not going to get a game every single week and when you are on you're putting a little bit too much pressure on yourself well I think injuries can make or break players um, I can go back to being injured myself and sitting on the bench for Ireland at 20 years of age and thinking that the world was at my feet and then dislocating my shoulder the following weekend and not playing for nine months and you're kind of emotionally dashed on the rocks and you're trying to you know figure out whether it's over for you and you haven't even started and you've only and a little tiny taste of of um, of the big time, and suddenly you're not in there. Van der Fleer has tasted the big time. He has delivered on the big stage. Um, I think he's got something special with him, and it is about how your coach and all your guys are able to manage that with you. But um, I think there's a serious amount of rugby ahead for that guy, and it's it just it augurs very well for Leinster to have players of his caliber, and I would say his mental strength. I've watched some of the play that he's had um, on coming back. He still offers an awful lot for a guy who was out for quite a while. Jamie, he slipped, Jerry. Have we any idea about when we can expect to see him back on the pitch? Quite soon, apparently. He's well on the road to recovery now. And um, the thing about it is that, you know, we you almost forget about a player like Jamie Heasley because so much has happened in the interim. But he's a fabulous <laughs> footballer who, who's... who's The criticism of whom sometimes I, I find a bit perplexing given his his consistency, his value on the team, his leadership, the way he always makes the right calls, he almost never loses the ball, he always makes the right decisions. He's just such an intelligent all-round footballer, ticks so many boxes, his numbers are phenomenal, and he, he's always been one of the first names in any Joe Schmidt team sheet, which tells you all you need to know about the player in my book. And the thing is, yes, they've got this ridiculous um, list and conveyor belt of back rowers, but then, and it's probably the single most competitive area of any team in the Pro 14, any combination in the Pro 14, it would be the Lens back row but the likes of Jamie and Shawnee uh, they're fit and well and they're going well for Ireland You know, they won't play even half the Pro 14 games there will be opportunities for all these other players and they will be used Leinster used something like 55 players last season competing in two fronts and there will be game time for all of them I mean there were times last season as well when Reese Ruddock was producing some of the best rugby of his life he was outstanding away to Claremont in the semi-final um, and he had a good summer tour as well so it's a remarkably if you, like I was saying earlier if you make the Leinster back row you're one foot into the Irish back yeah. row